and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? And they were my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. I have nothing to lose now. How bad could it be? <laughs> like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. Why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I'm not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. I'm sentient. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle. And many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. Now the Jedi on Dantooine on the Coruscant. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the oh. Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall. And the civil war that followed. And the Sith are still living it to on them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Before you said the Harbinger was on his way to Tios? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. How do you know I was on board of Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Mm. Uh. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Per. Good. Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get it. <laughs> so how come I don't remember this screaming? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. Yeah, there's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. <laughs> Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. She seemed well enough for someone who had just lost her hand. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. What are you talking about? Are you blind? If I were her? I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. <laughs> I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. Well, in case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me. But she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. Well, what you think matters to her. A lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. When did you get sensitive? Oh, don't give me that. 
All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. All right, she may be in pain. I'll see if I can go help. Okay. Oh, nice jungle XP. Oh, I'm getting up to the light. There is little more left to give. Mm. When you love your hand, I feel it too. That does not surprise me. Any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. I sorry for her else. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. <laughs> Seems to me you need to learn to listen. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. Oh, yeah. And what if you had died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Or would it have been little? Possibly, yes. And I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. What can we do? I don't want my action to place you at risk. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Okay. How could this bond have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Mm. Force chain. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Yeah. So, what do we know? I do no. not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. But there must be some place we can go. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos, and that is enough. Mm, where are we born again? The planet Telos, decimated by the Sith during the Jedi Civil War. Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. And if we find an old of Jedi teachings on Telos to help us? Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. Mm, there were other questions I wanted to ask. Mm, it was no. Okay, I think I heard enough. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Alright. Yeah, but this fool has a allowed you to study him. He is a fool and an imbecile. <laughs> His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first, and his allies next. You just lost. Okay. If I were you, I would see. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. 
If I were you, ask. Are you gonna tell me what I want? Tell me what had happened in the Marvel Universe? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians, and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. To do? No one knows, certainly not I. Korriban lies in ruins, Revan is gone, and the blade of war he promised to stab into the heart of the galaxy has withdrawn. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. You're saying Revan about the duel? It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. The Republic is weak, you don't deserve to win. Perhaps. It is sometimes difficult to find the truth in the Jedi Civil War. Was it the Republic that defeated Malak, or was it Revan? If it was Revan, then the Republic was never truly tested. Mm, so the Republic... So what does it matter? A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves, or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath, and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Nothing be done to help. No. Yeah. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless, the Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. <laughs> okay, I heard that. I would see to that fool. No, oh, dark side. Okay, quest complete. Old witch, old witch, old witch. Okay, people. This luggage session come to an end. I will see you next time. Goodbye.